All right, guys, we just found a crap ton of games. So many games over here. Nothing is marked. $2 each. Dude, this is freaking sealed. What? What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to episode 36 of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a journey to build a video game collection, starting off with just $10 to prove that game hunting is not dead and that you can still build a video game collection on a budget. So this past week was Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had an incredible holiday, but we are living in some strange times, guys. I think this was my first time to not hang out with my family on Thanksgiving. It was weird, but again, very, very strange times that we are living in right now. But guys, whether you were with your family or you were cooped up at the house by yourself watching Netflix, I hope, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Guys, we're about to get straight into this week's footage. But before we do, if you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get into our update of the $10 game collection. Uh, we have a couple things to cover, but first off, uh, last week we picked up this incredible NES collection, guys. Go back and check out the episode called The Mountain of NES Games because we just picked up all these games. It had been a bit since we picked up that many uh, OG Nintendo games. It was awesome to pick all those up, but... Now we are back into the reoccurring cycle of not having very much money again. We left off with $88 in the game fund, uh, and we only sold one thing since last week, and it was the Star Wars DVD set. We sold it for $29.99, so we net this from that sale with a grand total of this in the game fund, which, guys, we're getting low again. It's a continuous cycle. We need way more money than that in the game fund, so... I do have uh, a couple things that we are going to sell off. We're going to sell the Ocarina of Time without the label. Um, so you're going to see a problem here as well. These are a lot of things that they will sell, but they're not fast sellers. So for instance, there isn't someone out there looking specifically for <laughs> a no label Zelda Ocarina of Time. Here is Turtles 2, the arcade game, not a ton of value, but you know, around 10 to 13. Shadow Gate is about a $10 game. Time Lord is, I think, around eight. Uh, we are gonna sell the Kiwi Craze game. I did play it for a little bit, uh, and it was okay, but uh, we need the money more than we need this game right now. Uh, let's see, Farming Simulator. This sells pretty decently, I think around 15 or so. Tony Hawk 1 and 2. Um, we don't have a PS4, so this does us no good. Sells for about 20. Story mode sells for around eight. Uh, Kingdom Hearts around 10 or so. Here is that King's Quest game. And then this, guys. I told you if we were in dire needs, we were gonna sell this game. And we are in dire needs. I think this sells for like 80 plus complete. And that will sell quick. So that's the problem with this stuff is there's a little bit of value, but like this King's Quest complete game, it's worth like $60, but it's not going to sell quick. We need quick cash. This will sell really quick, and we will find this again because I don't want to run into a lot of games on Facebook Marketplace or somewhere out in the wild that is, say, 150 bucks, and I can't buy it because we don't have the cash. So unfortunately, we're going to sell Twilight Princess for now, but it will be worth it for what we find next, what games come upon us. So that's where we're at. I think around 100 and no 110 105 dollars in the game fund not a ton but definitely enough to go hunt so let's do it so i'm uh game hunting with my little buddy say hey ro hey hey and uh no games like hardly at all there's like two or three sports games but not interested in those but check this out guys it's a universal studios uh vhs the Jurassic Park, the ride. 
E.T., Waterworld, just so many nostalgic things. Uh, the Back to the Future ride. Really cool VHS. I've never seen this before. And then inside, check this out. There is a, uh, like, warranty, limited warranty registration card for this VHS. How weird is that? It's like, why would you register <laughs> this VHS? I think I might pick this up. I want to watch this. I love collecting weird oddity things like this so i'll probably get this nothing else guys except for the universal studios vhs all right guys i'm still out thrifting with my buddy he's playing with some uh, harry potter legos that we just found um, but i did find some games so this is the goodwill where i mean almost never the games are priced so these are all two dollars each and some pretty decent games. There were some other games over there as well, but they were all like sports games. So here is Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires. So cool to pick that up. We do not have that for the $10 game collection yet. Tony Hawk's Underground. I like all the Tony Hawk games uh, for the OG Xbox. And then here is Sonic Mega Collection Plus. So just a ton of Sonic games on one one disc uh, we have this already for the ps2 we do not have it for the xbox so these are exactly the kind of games i want to pick up for two dollars not a ton of value but you know maybe eight dollars or so each so awesome to pick these up for six dollars and now i get to just wait here until he allows me to leave because he loves coming to goodwill this is like a kid's dream because you know at the store at target or at walmart you can't open up the toys here he can just play with all the toys and then uh, and then we can leave and then i don't buy him anything because he doesn't need any more toys he has way too many but all right that's it for now all right guys no lie i've been just waiting here for like 15 minutes for my son to you know be done playing with all these toys about to pick up these three games and uh, an employee just put this in here. Frankly, I'm swamped by admirers. So to get away from it all, I reach for Frogger. It's a challenge, Ribbit, because the better you are, Ribbit, Ribbit, the harder Frogger is to play. Guys, I actually collect these Tiger handhelds and I don't have this one. This is 19.99 and I don't have this and it's only $2.62. Sweet, and it works, man. Just a cool, weird oddity. I don't know why I even like to collect these. They're so bad, but I like them, so I'm gonna get it. All right, guys, I wanna give all this N64 stuff a quick clean. It has all been lysol and disinfected, so we are safe at this point. But I do wanna try to get off some of the marker and gunk that uh, is on some of these cartridges. And then obviously this is really gross. I wanna clean this. Uh, I already have this N64 sold locally. Somebody asked me a while ago uh, if I would sell them an, an, an N64. And I said whenever I got one, I would sell them one um, for $65 which is actually a little cheap right now. I think they're selling more for like 75 to 80, but I thought I'd honor my word and sell them one with the hookups and, and a controller for $65. So again, all I do to clean cartridges is I spray it down with just a little bit of Armor All, and then I use a magic eraser very lightly on the sides. And you're gonna see that it cleans up really, really quick. Guys, this is basically a, a very fine sandpaper. So you want to be very gentle and light uh, as you're scrubbing this. And you don't you don't really wanna hit the label. Um, there are, or there is some cases where there'll be like a little bit of marker on, on a label that you can kind of barely gently rub it and it'll come off, but you really don't wanna hit that label because it will end up taking off the finish. But that's how I do it. I'm gonna get into a uh, time lapse of me cleaning all these cartridges. All right, guys, all the games are cleaned up and they look pretty good. Um, these right here, there's two with stickers, the Diddy Kong and the Mario Golf. I'm gonna get uh, rid of those stickers a different way, but overall, I think they look a lot better. So they are ready for the shelf. We're gonna keep all of these games for now and not sell any of these. 
Um, but now I need to clean the N64. The big problem is all of this gunk over here. So kind of same, same thing, but this time I'm gonna use this toothbrush and just try to get this gunk out of here and see what happens. Pretty, pretty disgusting for sure. It almost feels like, like candle wax or something. Um, there actually is another way to get this out, but I'm gonna save that for another video. For now, we're just gonna do this. So I'm gonna time lapse this as well and clean all of this up. All right, guys, there it is. Perfect, uh, no, not perfect, but looks a lot better. And we got that gunk out of the power button, uh, power switch, and it is working. It is working well and it is pretty clean and it is ready uh, to get uh, to the new owner. So $65 for that. We will add that to the game fund. All this stuff is ready for the shelf. On to the next. All right, you guys saw me pick up home improvement on the Super Nintendo not too long ago. Check this out, guys. There's a home improvement board game. <laughs> why is there this? I don't know. And why do I need it? I also don't know. But I'm buying this, guys. I'm fairly certain this is like old, not from like a reboot or something. I can't tell. I think the uh, date is right around there, but it definitely looks older. So I'm gonna pick this up just for the collection. I'm a huge Home Improvement fan. And I need this. All right, guys, I'm back at the same Goodwill I was at yesterday, and I am finding 80s and 90s board games. Nothing to do with the $10 game collection, but I found the home improvement game uh, yesterday. And then check this out. Here is Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, when is this dated? Let's see. It is 1993. And then check this out. Here's a Goosebumps game. You will be waiting. You're in for a scare. Shrieks and Spider... Spiders game? Uh, that's 343 and it's dated 1995. I don't know, but I checked and they're all in there, so... I'm gonna pick this... They're all in there. All the pieces are in there, so I'm gonna pick this up for 343. Here's a Pokemon puzzle, Diamond and Pearl, but kinda crazy to see to see these old 90s games here um whoa are you okay <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up today good i apologize no no i should have been probably been more clear no, too it's okay there was some miscommunication um everything is in that box it okay. comes with the charger and the switch itself and then the game i did take out um i wiped it clean and sure. so it's like fresh and in the container for you cool awesome all right, guys, we just picked up a super clean Nintendo Switch Lite in gray. Gray is my favorite color, and this thing is beautiful. It even came with the box. Now, unfortunately, this is not gonna be part of the $10 game collection. I wish it was, but we just don't have the funds right now to make a purchase quite this big. But I did buy this specifically to give it away in our next Patreon giveaway. Uh, just in time for the holidays, guys, we we're gonna give this away. I did, honestly, though, I wanted to keep it. <laughs> I told my wife that I was going to go get this and she said, Rick, you don't need it, you already have a Switch. I go, yeah, but I don't have a Switch Lite. And she said, well, you don't even play your Switch Heavy, so you don't need a Switch Lite. <laughs> She's not a gamer, guys. There's no such thing as a Switch Heavy, but I thought that was cute and funny that she said that. Um, but guys, we are gonna give this away. Here's the thing, though. I wanna get this to somebody before Christmas. So in order to do that and have enough time to ship it out, um, December 14th is gonna be our last day to be entered um, the giveaway. So make sure to get in now, link down in the description below. Um, guys, and thank you. Thank you so much for the support, whether you are part of the Patreon, um, just for the benefits or to help support the channel. It is a huge help. There are some things that I want to do next year to make the, to make the channel even better, like potentially get a camera. I use my phone, so it'd be, it'd be pretty sweet to get a camera at some point, but the support is, is unbelievable. And I thank you guys so much. Good luck to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. On to the next. All right, guys, at the St. Joe Catholic Flea Market, uh, I found some decent stuff, but this is more uh, just a stockpile for conventions and stuff. Dark Crystal DVD Jaws on VHS. And I think that's it. Oh, Christmas Vacation. 
Uh, there is one DVD though that I'm gonna pick up for $10 game collection, Cujo. It doesn't sell for a crazy amount. It's like around nine to 12 and it's in really good shape. So I'm gonna pick this up. Almost no games. Here is a Dora game, the dreaded fan. <laughs> it's always right here. Um, there's that, some other DVDs that I might pick up, but oh, here's two more. These are a dollar. Let's see what these are. At a dollar, oh, hey, hey, is this sealed? I can never tell, that looks like a, like a video store or something. That one might be sealed. I might pick up Sean White and then Race Orama. So, wow, sorry. All right, so I guess I'm gonna pick up these two. I'm gonna leave Dora behind, but I'll get these two games and Cujo for three bucks. And yeah, not anything terribly exciting, but it's something, so gonna keep looking. All right, guys, we just found a crap ton of games. So many games over here. Nothing is marked. $2 each. First bummer, Super Mario Galaxy. Empty. So that's a bummer, but here is Fantasy Star Universe. I'm not sure if this is like an online game or not, but for $2, I'll take a chance on that. So I'm gonna start making a pile right here. Right here, okay. And then we got Star Wars. Two. Nope, Star Wars 3 on PS3. We don't have that yet. Put that there. Got it, got it. We don't have this Ratchet and Clank game. Two dollars, guys. All right, here is another good one to look out for. Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. It feels super empty because it is, unfortunately. Let's see, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Here's in television live. Probably we'll get this one. Uh, what is this? No More Heroes 2? I've never even seen this one before. Desperate Struggle. That one is in there, even though that one felt pretty light. Um, Smackdown, anytime there's Smackdown games, we're gonna get them. So 2011. We'll get that. Then here's 2008. We actually sold this game at one point for like 15 or so. Uh, Ultimate Alliance 2. Yep. I know you guys are seeing that Mario. Let's just do it right now. <laughs> Mario Party 8, guys. Oh. Dude, this is freaking sealed. What? This has never been opened before. What? A score. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, here's Batman 2. Yup. Here is Spider Man 3. Yes. <laughs> this is a ton of games. Here is. Oh. Oh, oh Murda? City of Gangsters? Never even seen this one before. Look at our stack, guys. And we're. We don't have a ton of money, so. It's kind of brutal. I already have that. Oh, brutal. That's weird. Brutal legend. Okay. Guys, $2. Portal 2. That's my bad. Uh, okay, another sealed game. Final Fantasy XX2. Sealed games, guys. Multiple sealed games. Ratchet and Clank. Tools of Destruction. Here is Ratchet and Clank All for One. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Ultimate Alliance, Spider Man. One feels like it's in there. Harry Potter 007. Here is. Have, there's multiple Grand Theft Auto 5s. I just. Don't know if we need any of them. That one's in there. Epic Mickey, we have. Um, okay, so I'll keep looking through this and update you guys. Here's Mortal Kombat. And that one's in there. That's a ton of games already. We're looking at probably 
14 games or so. Here's another one. Legend. Legends of the Guardian. $2. Guys, I gotta get it. Uh, which one is this? Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna go through all this and figure out what we're gonna get, see if anything's scratched. Um, or if it's too scratched, but I'll keep you guys updated. All right, here's what I'm gonna end up getting. I think it's 21 games. Uh, I'm gonna ask if I can have these two since they're not in there. But I missed uh, I missed the Street Fighter game, uh, Blaze Blue. I missed. This is some kind of racer, Mod Nation Racers. Hail to the Chimp. I've never seen this one before. And then Ridge Racer Six. And then all of these. Those Spider-Man games, I don't know where they are. I think they're right there. They were tore up, man. Not worth getting, so. Gonna get all of these. It should be uh, $42 for 21 games. Amazing pickup, guys. Sealed games. Good, how are you? Great. Those two weren't in there. I don't know, can I have those? Do you guys throw them away? Uh, like, there's no game. Yeah, there was no game in them. Take them. Okay, cool. thanks, I appreciate it. No problem. It. All right, the total is gonna be $42. Okay. All right, guys, here it is, insane Goodwill haul. Can you believe it? <laughs> There's no way that these games had been sitting out for more than 15 to 30 minutes. I'm telling you guys, it is war out there nowadays. There are so many resellers I see inside Goodwill scanning games in DVDs, and I just cannot believe it that we were so fortunate enough to pick up all these games, 21 games, for a grand total of $42, crazy. Now, unfortunately, you guys can't see me anymore checking out and actually seeing like uh, the little screen, the credit card machine, because they got a new system. But um, you did hear her say $42. I always wanna be truthful with you guys so you can see what I'm actually paying. Um, but yes, let's get straight into it. Here is what we paid, obviously 42, and I'm gonna tell you the value. There are two games in here that are worth over $50, one of which I had no idea had any value at all, and I almost passed up on it. So glad that I didn't. So let's get right into it. These two cases, they always give me cases for free, and you guys have seen me sell cases before uh, on eBay. This one sells for about five with the manual, and I'm gonna guess this is about three or so. Probably not even worth it, but it was free, so I thought, why not? So here is the first game that I had never seen before, and it looks it looks wild, man. Hail to the Chimp. This looks really cool. I'm excited uh, to check this out. It's I get I don't know if it's uncommon or not, but I just have never seen it before. The value on this is only eight dollars, but cool to pick that up. Here is Mod Nation Racers. Never played this uh, racer, but I love I love these kind of cutesy racing games. So uh, excited to check this one out as well. We still don't have a PS3 in the $10 game collection. I'm actually surprised by that. But this is only worth seven. Here is Blaze Blue, a great fighting series. I think there are three Blaze Blue games on, on the PS3. None of these have you know any crazy value either, but uh, still cool to pick up. This is only worth $5. Uh, a fighting series that everybody knows is Street Fighter. Come on, man. Love this game or I love the Street Fighter series. This one is worth $8. Another series I love is Ridge Racer. And this is Ridge Racer 6 on the Xbox 360. You guys are sick of me saying that uh, I've never played Xbox 360 stuff because I, I just never really did. So excited uh, to check that out. Here is Fantasy Star Universe. Now I know a lot of the Fantasy Star games, their servers have been shut down. I'm assuming that this is kind of the same situation I didn't really care because, you know, again, it was only $2 and I looked this one up and it's selling for 10. So I thought, you know, if anything, if the servers are shut down or if it's that kind of situation, I'd just sell it, but that's worth 10. Moving over here is Star Wars 3. I couldn't remember if we had this or not, but uh, never a bad idea to pick up the Lego games, especially if you can find them cheap. And this one is worth 13. So a series that most everybody loves, I don't know why you wouldn't like it, <laughs> they're so fun, is Ratchet and Clank, and this is Crack in Time. 
we got three three ratchet and clank games uh in this lot this one is worth 12. i think this is worth the most out of these three here is ratchet and clank tools of destruction guys these games are so so fun i love these games uh this is only worth five and then ratchet and clank all for one this one is worth 10. so i think we have maybe one ratchet and clank game in our collection but it does not have the case so cool to pick those up here is final fantasy x and x2 uh, hd remaster and this is one of the games that was sealed to find sealed games at goodwill is crazy to me like I don't care if I got a game for my birthday or for Christmas and I knew I wasn't going to like it. I still opened it up and tried it and to think these games just sat sealed in someone's house and never got played is, is pretty crazy to me. Uh, that one is worth 13 uh, brand new. Here is Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. I don't know. Looks somewhat interesting. And this one is worth $7. Here is one that I was super pumped to see that was sealed is Mario Party 8. Great game, one of my favorite Mario Party games. This one is so good, guys. Uh, and this one sells for 50 on the low end. I've seen them sell upwards of 60 sealed. So that will be that will be sold here in the near future. Here is Intellivision Lives. These compilation games are fun. I used to play Intellivision a little bit with my dad back in the day. Obviously, graphics are super dated. But just to see the history of some of these old original games uh, is pretty cool. That one is worth $9. So here is the game that I almost passed on. And I am so glad that I did not. No More Heroes 2. And apparently there is a No More Heroes 1 as well. Never heard of this in my entire life. Looked it up and it is worth $51 complete. That is crazy, guys, and it is in really good condition. I guess I may try it. I don't really have like a ton of interest in it, but that is crazy, guys, that this is worth $51. Why? You guys tell me down below if this is like a really great game or something or rare. Have no idea. Uh, here are two SmackDown vs. Raw games, 2008 and 2011. Great games. Those are worth $15 and $15. Uh, Omerta, City of Gangsters, never heard of this in my entire life. Probably shouldn't have picked this one up. Uh, this one is only worth $6. Brutal Legend uh, is worth $6. You guys tell me if this is one to check out. Mortal Kombat, I did play this at one point. My buddy has an Xbox 360, and we did play this because we've always been Mortal Kombat fans. This is worth $8. And lastly is Tony Hawk, uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland love all the tony hawk games this one is complete and it sells for seven dollars grand total 42 spent with a total of 281 dollars in value this is crazy guys i love i love hunting for games it's so fun and to find this many games that cheap is amazing we will sell mario party 8 for sure whoa depth perceptions off mario party 8 and that No More Heroes 2 game, that's about $100 right there. We'll look, through, we'll, we'll look through everything else to see what we need to sell. But guys, amazing trip to the Goodwill again. On to the recap. Guys, it is so uncommon to find this many games at Goodwill in one stop. It has been months since we have found this many games at a Goodwill, and all of these were $2 a piece. We spent $51 this week with a grand total of $329 in value with two games that we are going to sell for uh, over $100, guys. Two games that we really don't need for the collection, but this is exactly why I love to go game hunt. Guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would, like the video, subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace.